Temi tope eluye mi balugun. Temi tope eluye mi balugun. Temi tope eluye mi balugun. How many times have I called you? This is the elder statesman, Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbechino, talking. And you know what has given me the drive to come up this morning once again is because of the love I have for humanity. If not, since you have decided to be stubborn, I would have left you. But I am a father. I come up many often times than none to lend out my voice to people who would like to harness it. You claim to know too much. And when you are placed on the weighing balance, one does not see what you claim to have. One does not see what you claim to have. If you would embark on a project, be very, very careful to ask questions from those who know things about that. I don't want to talk much, but the underlining fact here is you claim to know too much. In this year's struggle, so many people came to help you, but you dispersed them. Notably among them is Comrade Steve Ipoli. That man came to help you so well. I don't talk of my own again, oh no. Let me not mention myself. Let me not mention myself. Several others, my ears are full. You claim to know too much. And I came up and I told you that you are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere because you have failed to apply the appropriate formula. If you would find the area of a circle, the formula is by R squared. The formula is not R squared alone. And the formula is not pi alone. You claim to know too much. And if you don't take time, you will end your life in sheol. You will end your life in anguish the way you are going. And I'll tell you the reason shortly in the course of this broadcast. I think you told us that you went to CDHR and CDHR has done a letter to the government yes to get the document of ken wakama for us but i heard you yesterday saying that you don't even know what this uh, cdhr are, are doing again that you are going to tell people to march on the street to asovira to the government so that the government should come out and tell you if Ken's a document mandate is with them, or they will now say that the government is conniving with Ken Wakama to do people. Look at the way you are talking. Look at the way you are talking. You claim to be in the midst of lawyers. You claim to be in the midst of DSS. But when you come out to talk, one does not see knowledge in what you say. Tell me, talk me, Eluye, me, Balogun. Let me ask you this question. Is there any day the government has come up to tell you people that he is partnering with Ken Wakama? Or you are hearing it from Ken Wakama alone? If you are hearing it from Ken Wakama alone, is that enough reason for you to get to the streets and be mentioning the name of the government? Point number two. Earlier me that Balubu, is it the government that you paid money to? Or is Ken? If it was Ken, 
What concerns you with the government? Hold Ken now and let Ken mention the name of the government. It is not you that should mention the name of the government. It is Ken that should mention the name of the government. If you like, as you are so stubborn, if you like, don't heed this my advice. Let people follow you to the streets and you will see what will happen to you. You know, the government is uh, under tension as we are talking about. Uh, the masses are under tension. Everywhere there is tension. Just bring yourself out and you will see what will happen to you. And you will see what will happen to you. And the masses that are gullible. Let me see somebody. When Temito Kaili Balogo say, oh, hey, come and let us go and protest. Let me see somebody that will follow Temitope Eliemi Balogo. If you follow Temitope Eliemi Balogo, whatever happens to Temitope Eliemi Balogo will happen to you. That is for sure. Do I need to be a lawyer before I reason? Do I need to be a lawyer before I can reason? So a lawyer needs to tell you this before you even know. There was no day the federal government has ever told you anything concerning what you are talking about. You have always been hearing it from Ken Wakama and his disciples. And it was Ken Wakama that you paid money to. What concerns you with the federal government? What concerns you with the federal government? If you like, you can ignore this my advice to ignore this because ignoring valid advice is what you are known for. The government, they have put up a structure that if you have an issue to pass through, you can go to the police and complain. You can go to the DSS and complain. Or you can bypass them and move straight away to court. What concerns you and the federal government? The federal government is saddled with responsibilities and they are carrying it out and they are bringing this your year yet complaint to the streets that the government should come. The government is not your mate. Too. The government is not your mate. If you are uninformed, the government is not uninformed. The government is not uninformed. All ground pressure group, when they had the issue, Issues with a Tio, they took Tio before the law. These are people that are intelligent. They got their proofs of payments and they took Tio before the law. You, Elu Balu, you don't know anything and you come around black bragging, thinking that you know something. Go to the streets and you see what will happen to you. The tear gas of the police. They don't respect anybody. And sometimes they release bullets. Sometimes oh, they release bullet, bullets. You are aware. You are aware. If you like, go to the street and let people who are gullible follow you. This is the voice of the elder statesman talking. Good morning.